What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten wrestlers surprisingly booed in their hometown by none other than Wrestling Flashback. Um, in these situations, usually it's like I guess you can say. Sometimes I've seen uh, the baby faces are probably being over pushed, and to the point where even in, when they're at home, they're getting booed out the building because you know, well, it's just keep it a spade fans you know sometimes get tired of the baby face situation and want something different so even when they're at home people don't you know they, they want to boot them they want them to not succeed you know because they're kind of over their baby face push or maybe a person that's been over pushed and they just they 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 don't care to see them as champ or whatever the situation may be we've seen it with john cena plenty of times he goes home and we're talking about john cena when he was at the height of his push and he when he would go home he would get booed it's crazy it's it's crazy it doesn't always happen but when it does happen it's 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 a unique situation so sometimes even the heel can go home and end up getting booed as well you know so we're gonna check out some of these situations go down memory lane uh lane appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's get right into this one is this on a wrestler's hometown is more often than not the place where they'll receive their best reaction. Uh huh. Man, you should be here to see this. This is good. The local crowd almost always welcomes back one of their own, but some wrestlers are so good at being heels, they can even elicit a negative reaction from their very own people. Uh -huh. Then there are times when the fans are so tired of a baby face, like they'll have said. no issue booing them. Regardless if the wrestler is a hometown star or not, we'll look at examples of both today as we highlight 10 wrestlers who were booed in their hometown. Number one, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is such a versatile performer that he's just as good a heel as he is a baby face. Uh -huh. This was proven not just by the incredible baby face reaction he received, in his hometown of Montreal in 2023. Oh, I love it. But also by the fact he was able to get the fans to boo him in the same arena back in mm -hmm. April 2019. On the night, Zayn was a guest on Alexa Bliss's talk show. Sami initially received a hero's welcome from the audience. He welcomed this response by dancing, speaking French. <laughs> and then continuing to hype up the Montreal faithful with an Olay chant, the staple chant of Zayn's entire career. Olé, 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 olé. Listen to that, bro. Sami then spoke that. about his love for the city of Montreal while expressing his disdain for the people, which was met by a chorus of boos. The city is great it's just the people that i can't stand <laughs> zane doubled down by stating that appearing in front of the montreal crowd was the low point of his week this led to the crowd chanting for a different montrealer kevin owens <laughs> This only further annoyed Sammy, who closed things out by saying that the fans in attendance were not his people and that they should all go to hell. A version of the na 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 hey hey goodbye song emanated throughout the Bell Center he as is they good. walked off in disgust. Yeah, see you in hell! <laughs> He, he the is way good. Sammy turned the crowd was brilliant. Burying the audience can often come across as cheap heat, but Zayn pulled it off well by being mm -hmm. so entertaining. Number two, Kurt Angle. Uh. Zayn had to turn the crowd first before getting booed, but Kurt Angle rarely had this issue during his first year with the WWF. All the fans needed to hear was the Olympic gold medalist entrance music. Yep. Just like that, arenas up and down the country would typically boo on command. This was even the case in Angle's hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it happened numerous times in 1999 and 2000. It was a good during Heel, Kurt's bro. second WWF match, which took place on the November 15th, 1999 Raw. Angle had cemented himself as a heel the night before at the Survivor Series by getting on the mic and berating the crowd for reacting negatively during his match versus Sean Stasiak. Kurt had been instructed to do so while the mm -hmm. match was going on by the referee, who was relaying orders from Vince McMahon in Gorilla. You do not fool Olympic gold medals. I'm the best in the world. The next day, Angle didn't think he would be booed in his hometown of Pittsburgh, a place where Kurt was already a recognized name thanks to his exploits in the Olympic Games. However, Vince once again had a clever plan to ensure Angle received boos. Vince wanted me to precondition the crowd before we started Raw. Mm. So he had me go out and cut a promo to turn on the fans a little bit. Kurt mm. was booed right from his entrance. Your Olympic hero has come back to Pittsburgh! And it's, it's one of those things where it worked 
it, it worked because he wanted to get him over as a heel because the fans weren't buying into it. Yeah, they knew he was an Olympic champion, but people didn't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was it worked that he was like, yeah, I'm this Olympic champion. Y'all should worship me. And nobody was. And he's like, why are you not? Why are you not showing me love and adulation? I love that. Love that. And even in his hometown, he got the booze. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, sometimes the faces are over pushed to get the booze. And sometimes the heels. They can pull off getting booze at home uh, in their home uh, town as well. With the Olympian receiving further jeers after rejecting his opponent, the Godfather's offer of swapping a gold medal for one of the hoes. Once the match <laughs> got underway, Angle grabbed the microphone just like he had done the night prior at Survivor Series. Kurt once again chastised the crowd for booing him. You cheer a pimp and his hoes <laughs> over an Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> But I Kurt love it. won the match thanks to an angle slam. Love WWE it. King Booker. It's ah. always easy to ensure a heel gets booed in their hometown. But the WWE made certain that King Booker received booze during an episode of SmackDown in Houston, Texas. On February 2nd, 2007, the Houston, plan to man. turn the crowd against Booker came in the form of an obnoxious key to the city ceremony. Yeah. After being awarded the key to the city, Booker stated that no one from Houston had accomplished as much as him. Booker then made the ancient order of royal Houstonians kiss his ring, which resulted in booze. Kiss my ring. No. <laughs> from there, Booker tried but failed to get Houston's own Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top to kiss both the King's Royal Ring and feet. I think I remember this. After this, Kane interrupted uh. by first attacking the custodians and then King Booker. The key to the Sydney <laughs> ceremony was just one of the many funny segments Booker T was involved mm -hmm. in during his run Shout as King Booker. Shout out to Booker T, Number man. Four, Edge. So far, we've looked at good forms of heat with heels receiving the desired reaction, but sometimes the shoe can be on the other foot with baby faces being booed instead of cheered. Mm -hmm. This is bad enough on its own, but when it's done in the baby faces' hometown, it's a sign that the fans are tired of the wrestler in their current form. Edge experienced this at, at SummerSlam 2004 when he defended the Inter Continental Championship in his native Toronto, Canada, during a triple threat match against Batista and Chris Jericho. The crowd booed Edge anytime he went on offense. Yeah, you hear it. This was especially apparent whenever he and Chris Jericho were in the ring, as the Ontario crowd much preferred Y2J. That's crazy Edge too. His title after hitting Jericho with a spear, Edge will have been glad the match was over, given he just experienced one of the most negative reactions of his career up to that point. I hadn't been in Toronto in two years, and they booed me. All right, I'm gonna give you a reason. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a reason. To hate. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be long after until Edge turned heel, and it was after this that his work improved dramatically. And this is why we say when you hear sometimes when you hear the fans, especially if you're a babyface, you hear the fans giving you that negative reaction something like this especially at a big pay-per-view event in their in your hometown there's nothing wrong with calling an audible there's nothing wrong with calling an audible because sometimes it can give you the desired results that you want because then he just really tapped in into his rogue side and hence this is how we ended up ultimately getting the rated r superstar following a rough number of months as a face. That's a man's wife! Yep. What the hell are you people thinking? <laughs> Number five, John Cena. By the oh, time SummerSlam yeah. 2006 came around, Edge was now an established top heel, while his mm -hmm. opponent, John Cena, was the baby face that fans were booing in his hometown. John yep. had established himself as the face of the company, but that didn't stop him from being booed, even in his home state. Cena hails from West Newbury, Massachusetts, a suburb of Boston where the pay-per-view was taking place. Instead of the Intercontinental title, Edge was this time defending the WWE Championship. The crowd were electric throughout the match, and the fans were definitely split at times. However, Cena was met with heavy boos on heavy numerous boos. occasions, as well as strong Cena sucks chants. Cena, literally in his hometown. The That's audience crazy. then turned their attention to Edge's girlfriend by chanting, Lita sucks. Lita would soon get involved in the match by handing Edge brass knuckles. She then stopped Edge from receiving an FU by taking one herself. This distracted the referee, allowing Edge to use the brass knucks on Cena. And it was this that ensured the rated R superstar retained mm -hmm. the WWE Championship. My goal was always to get John cheered. 
And we thought maybe Boston would be an easy sell, and it turns out it wasn't. The nope. reaction Cena got during the match was a stark contrast to the response he received in the same building eight months prior, as John was welcomed home with thunderous That's cheers. That's crazy, from the man. Crowd. It just so happened that by the time SummerSlam came around, many fans had seen enough of Cena. Mm -hmm. Number six, Brock Lesnar. Cena acts as the opponent in our next example, as John and Chris Benoit faced a team featuring Brock Lesnar in his hometown of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Brock team with fellow heels Rhino and Matt Morgan on the go-home SmackDown show of the 2000. For Royal Rumble. The heels were accompanied by SmackDown general manager Paul Heyman, who watched on while sat on a lifeguard chair. The big show was also meant to be on the heel team. However, he was barricaded into his locker room by a parked forklift. The fans were in good form right from the jump, with loud chants of You Tapped Out directed at Lesnar. The crowd chanted this twice before the match even began. This was in reference to when Brock tapped to Chris Benoit at the Survivor Series two months prior. <laughs> Oh, the crowd remained very lively with further chance supporting Cena and bashing Heyman after both men were involved in an angle the previous week. Take another bite, that's all. <laughs> you ate soap, you ate soap. How disrespectful. During the match, the fans were firmly behind Cena and Benoit, who were two of SmackDown's hottest baby faces at the time. This meant there were boos for Brock, who also ended up taking some awesome German suplexes yeah, from Benoit. That's crazy. The rabid Wolverine then locked Lesnar in the Crippler Cross face, much to the audience's delight. There were more boos for Lesnar as he walked out on the match, only to be attacked by his upcoming opponent at the Royal Rumble, Hardcore Holly. At this point, even Bob Holly was being cheered ahead of the hometown boy Lesnar. <laughs> The finish of the match came when Cena oh. pinned Rhino off an FU. Overall, this was a fun match with a hot crowd, good wrestling, and hilarious reactions from Paul Heyman. Mm -hmm. Number seven, Bubba Ray Dudley. When it comes to wild crowds, look no further than wow. ECW. Crazy environment. We go to the land of extreme next for a match between television champion Taz and challenger Bubba Ray Dudley, taking place in Bubba's hometown of Queens, New York. Here we have an interesting example as Taz is positioned as the hometown hero. Given he hails from the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, Bubba on the other hand has famously been billed from Dudleyville, even though he's actually from Queens. Nevertheless, Bubba immediately receives booze while Taz is the clear fan favorite. Bubba embraces the heat by flipping off and swearing at the crowd multiple times. Bubba Ray Dudley was <laughs> On the other hand, the human suplex machine feeds off the crowd's energy as they chant, Taz is gonna kill you and choke him out. Wow, listen to that crowd. As Julie obliges by locking Bubba in the Taz mission and forcing him to tap out, allowing the champion to retain the TV title. Number eight, Randy Orton. In 2009, Randy Ooh. Orton was in the midst of an epic heel run in which he takes. We just checked out a video of the different versions of Randy Orton, and of course, man, this version of Randy Orton that was kicking people into another dimension. Savage. <laughs> now the entire McMahon family. Oh so it was God. going to be interesting to see how the crowd reacted to Orton on the August 17th, 2009 edition of Raw. Raw's guest general manager for the night, Freddie Prince Jr., opened the show and was about to talk about the main event until Orton interrupted. The Viper made it clear that he didn't want to wrestle ahead of his WWE title defense against John Cena at SummerSlam, which was in just six days. Freddie questioned why Orton wouldn't want to compete in his hometown. Randy replied saying that he doesn't care about wrestling in St. Louis and has nothing in common <laughs> with the local fans in a Attendance. I have nothing, this. nothing in common with any of Love this you. version of Randy, this bro. This is about me. The people responded with a you suck chant. Here's the thing. Randy was such a good heel, bro. Even in his hometown, he was going to get, he was vile and I love it. <laughs> Freddie demanded that Randy wrestle in the main event where it would be Orton and his SummerSlam opponent, Cena, versus The Big Show and Chris Jericho. Following this announcement, Freddie tried to leave the ring only to be stopped by Orton, who dragged Freddie to the center of the ring and gave him a backbreaker. Later on in the main event, Cena pinned Jericho thanks to an attitude adjustment. However, before Orton and Cena were even announced as the winners, the Viper would strike by giving Whoop! John an RKO. Number nine, Love CM it. Punk. CM Punk is well-renowned for his popularity in his home city of Chicago. We've witnessed numerous legendary punk homecomings over the years mm -hmm. so this begs the question has punk ever been booed in the second city and while this is rare it has happened a few times including at the night of champions 2010 pay-per-view despite being a heel punk entered to a typical boisterous hometown response with chance of his name ringing mm -hmm. through the all-state arena Punk even reciprocated by declaring his love for Chicago, the caveat being that he hates the inhabitants. Mm -hmm. Punk went on to bury the crowd who fired back with booze. Punk even went as far to say that Chicago should be set on fire for a second time. You people make me sick! 
Good heel. Good heel work. wrestled the Big Show in a short match. That show won with a knockout punch. Uh, big show with a knockout. CM Punk's promo ended up being far more entertaining than the actual match yeah. was. The power of almighty straight edge. Number 10, The Miz. Finally, we'll look at The Miz, a man who only ever gets cheered when he's in his hometown of Cleveland, mm -hmm. Ohio. But at TLC 2014, the spotlight was instead Bro. on Miz's tag partner. As Bro, <laughs> Damien Sandow was, so he turned a, a dumbass, like, <laughs> gimmick into something quite hilarious. He made it his own. It's dumb. But it was hilarious, bro. As the A-lister team with his stunt double, Damien Mizdow, to defend the tag team titles against the Usos. This was during the period when Mizdow replicated everything the Miz did. <laughs> Mizdow would get a better reaction every time compared to the Miz, who would get booed. <laughs> This was no different in Miz's hometown as Miz Dow stole the show, despite yeah. spending almost the whole match on the apron, mimicking Miz who was wrestling. The crowd demanded the stunt double be tagged in by chanting, We want Miz Dow. Mizdow's about to come in, Michael. Here comes the tag. <laughs> Miz refused to make the tag and received booze while Miz Dow got cheered. It's three in the making. And I'm not sure that it's good history. Later, Mizdow entered the ring to once again copy his partner in hilarious fashion. <laughs> and there's the idiot Mizdow. Yeah, why don't you come and try to help Miz? This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. The match came to an end when the Miz got himself and Mizdow disqualified by using a Sammy Award as a weapon. The DQ meant they retained the tag titles and they celebrated this fact, but as per usual, the fans only popped for Mizdow as the Miz was overshadowed in his hometown by his stunt double. And oh, that brings that was us funny, to the bro. end of this video. That... <laughs> Ms. Dow, legit, that was a real thing. <laughs> Someone came up with probably Vince, and he made that work. He got that over no matter how stupid and ridiculous it was. He got it over because he was just that entertaining. He made it the best out of that situation, man. That was great. But comment down below, man. Let me know, man, some other wrestlers uh, that didn't make this list that uh, they were either heel or babyface. When they came home to their hometown, they got booed out of the building. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on channel. Road to 150K. Now I'm still getting the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.